Hey guys, back with another Season 10 Gameplay Guide, guys. We are covering Riven today, my main champion, which I've been maining so far for about almost 8 years right now. Anyways, uh, you can find my 4 runes, the best build, the best setup for Riven and everything. You can find it all in the description below, so make sure to check that out, guys. And with that being said, let's cover Riven against Garen today. So... What you usually do when you play Riven and you're also playing against the Garen, I always recommend you guys to start off the game with your shield because mainly, I'm going to show you guys, I'm just going to show you if you just ask it. Yeah, there you go. Every single time that Garen is going to engage on you, he's being forced to use his Q. Otherwise, he's not able to engage you that easily. Here's the thing, you can actually shield the Garen Q and you can win this matchup pretty easily by doing that. I'm going to show you guys. So he always engages with his Q. Actually, you got a free auto attack there. I shouldn't have done that. But anyways, guys, let me get the farm. So he always engages with the Q and right after the Q expires, as soon as he gets a level 3 on Raven, it's just a matter of all inning as fast and as hard as possible and you should be able to win this matchup pretty easily against them there we go shield the Q get like a free Q and auto attack off he's probably gonna get that creep there I'm gonna trade him make sure that uh, he lost the cannon right there because I trade him and we also won a pretty hard trade so now it's just a matter of going for the all-in yep got him he even used flash there, so he could try to beat me, but that's obviously not going to work. This is one of the hardest matchups for Riven by far. That's what people say, but that's not true, guys. If you know the, if you know exactly how this matchup works, if you know how to play against the Garen, then you technically cannot lose this matchup. Riven cannot lose. If you know exactly how to play it, it's impossible. So just so you know, guys... Riven against Garen, it's super free. As long as you play it the right way. So, after getting this kill on the Garen, we currently have a lead over Garen already. A little bit, just tiny. I'm gonna go back right now. The first item we wanna buy is going to be the Warhammer. That's gonna allow us to have some more cooldown on our damage. As soon as you go back to, na uh, back to base the next time, we want to be able to buy the uh death stance as quick as possible the sooner you can get uh death stance against the garen the better it is if you're snowballing really hard against the garen i really suggest going for death stance but if you're not really doing that well and you're like kind of you know doing bad in the lane uh i suggest you guys actually buy the black leaf as the first item it all really kind of depends on how well you are doing against Garen. But that stance is generally a really good item if you're snowballing or doing really good against him. So right now I'm not going to fight him because he has more creeps on his side. Which means if I auto attack him just one time, the entire wave is going to uh, focus me all the way down. Also right now, he will go for that CS. I will trade him right here. Actually engaging with my E and then immediately pressing my Q so that the damage applies. So I can tank the E and do damage as well. He's going to go for that CS, so I will train him again. Oh, unfortunately. He's actually going back there. He's going to train me right here. I'm going to all in him because he's under my tower. And we get a free kill again. Hmm. I'm waiting for my flash. Or, I mean, I'm waiting for my cooldowns. Here's the thing. Most of the people... Even in diamond, even in challenge, you guys, I am super serious here. If Garen decides to poke you under the tower, do not be afraid to do your entire combo. Do not be afraid to go for the all in, guys. I cannot tell you guys enough. You can get so many kills for free because people don't expect you to trade them when they think they are ahead. For instance, if I'm literally walking in their tower... Why would you not engage in me? Why would you not all in me? They are not able to turn because the tower will completely focus on me, guys. For instance, right now, if I walk up to him, 
He can literally do like a free Q on me whenever he wants to. And I would have to shield and back off. So use that wisefully, guys. If you're like, if you have to wave on, under your tower. Play smart. I'm gonna back off a little bit, a little bit here. And now I'm gonna go for your Lin. Got him. So I was able to all in him right here because we had a lot more damage than Garen did. So we can now actually go back again. There we go. Perfect. Buying one more potion. Garen is actually playing really aggressive right now because uh, he's actually trying to rush uh, attack speed on Garen as quick as possible, which is pretty interesting, I'd say. If you rush a lot of attack speed on Garen, you can do so much damage with uh, with your E. But it doesn't work very well against me when I already have about two kills. Good. We already have about three kills. We farm is pretty much even out, but it's no problem from now. We're just going to be snowballing really hard from now. I'm gonna put the lane into like slow pushing mode. And then see if I can do like a potential roam to the mid lane. Great. I don't have TP. I'm actually playing with Ignite this game. I really enjoy playing Ignite against Garen because once he makes a single mistake, you can pretty much go for your all-in right after. I want to get that camp right there. <laughs> I got that camp. Well, I got him. He's level 5 right now. Oh. Was bad. Lee Sin is already like so far behind. Or well, I, I'm like two levels ahead of Garen. I'm just snowballing like top lane so hard right now. Okay, sweet. We got that camp on Lee Sin as well, so we're even more ahead right now. Oops, I should have shielded. Whoops, my mistake. I'm just gonna hard push it in. And then look for a potential roam. I cannot fight him right here. He got like an entire E off. Also Lee Sin's here, surprisingly. Still level 5 though. He's pretty far behind. I don't even have to use my ultimate. That guy is not smart. What? What is he doing? Okay, I I've never seen something like that before. What? Alright. Interesting. I can fight him now. His E is going down right now, which means I can go fuel in. Oh, he actually knows. Okay. Like, as soon as Garen's Q is going to run out, you want to look for an all in. Yep, that's my opportunity. He's like using his E a lot to trade. But whenever he tries to engage with the E, that's my opportunity to go for the all-in. Yeah, he's not able to fight me right now. Also, once I get back to base right now, I'll get my death stance. I'll be super strong. Alright. I'm going to go back right now, get my death stance, and then we're going to kill him. Oh wow, are you being serious? As soon as I get my death sense right now, Garen is done. Like, he's not going to do anything anymore. He's gonna go into my tower range again. I'm just gonna all in him immediately. He's in tower range, guys. You see that? He, you, he cannot turn because he's within, like, close to the tower range. Which means like free, free pass for like a trade. And now we're gonna go for the LN. Like, what are he, what are he's doing here? It's pretty smart. Like, he is actually using his E first, which lets me go for the LN. But only if he had a little bit more damage, he could have actually got me there. But I knew, I knew the numbers. I've played this matchup a lot. I knew the, the exact numbers of this matchup. I knew he wasn't going to get me after using it, after he used E for the bait. Because Garen's main damage is coming from the, from the Q at the start. It's smart. 
but it wasn't enough. So, uh, let me actually buy a ward. Great. We have the death sense right now, so it's just a matter of going for your lane, and we should be able to get like free kills right now. This should pretty much be the point in the game where it's super easy. We pretty much outskill anyone in this game. Like, we outskill Garen pretty hard. Lee Sin is also no problem for us at all. In fact, no problem at all. Syndra, Ash, they are pretty easy for me to snowball on. So, this is actually the perfect game for Riven to be in. There we go. Sweet. They're, like, fighting there right now. I'm going to make sure to get my... Uh, get myself over there for the dragon. They won that, so... If your team is winning the dragon, don't mind. Don't mind to take the jungle if you're not... If you're... You cannot do anything. If you have nothing to do in the map or in... At all. After the laning phase, after pushing it in. You can actually walk down in the enemy jungle and let the enemy jungle fall behind by taking the camps. Also, ganking your own lane from behind or like can be so useful. We can we might be able to get a free kill right here. Just chasing him all the way down. Oh. No 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 no. Alright. This is pretty much going to be the free game from now. We already have about six skills. My farm is pretty decent, and we pretty much outskill their entire team. So whatever might come right now isn't going to stop us at all. We have a massive lead over anyone right now, so nobody will stand a chance. No one. And we got some platings. We have about 20 seconds to get three platings. Hopefully that's going to work out. That's the second one. We have 10 seconds. Hopefully it's going to work out. That's going to give us like 120. Yep. And we got the tower. I don't know. That least is going to try. Oh, we've got some company. I'll just use it right now. Yep. Lee Sin's pretty far behind right now. Garen doesn't really do anything against us anymore because we've been winning like so hard against him already. He's gonna try to kick. Yep. It is pretty much going to be the game, guys. It's pretty much it. This is it. There's nothing more to it. Nobody can stop me at this point right now. It's it's going to be it. I'll get my next wave. I'll heal it back up all the way. Get back to the base. Get my black lever. And then we're pretty much unstoppable. Once you're ahead with Riven, it's really hard. Like... You, you're most likely not going to lose games if you're already like so far ahead of the game. We also get the hero sweet. Like if you play Riven in the perfect way, in the in a perfect match, you already get so far ahead. It's as long as you play well, it's it's hard to lose. Huh, I don't know what he's doing. Okay. I'm not gonna fight them. Well, maybe I could. Ah, oh, I, I couldn't dodge the bear, uh, the brand Q. I can kill him. Hmm, I could have played it differently. I could have. I, I tried to dodge the brain key. I tried to do too much, but... <laughs> that Sidra also exists. Ah, oh, man. Whatever. I, I should have played uh, the, 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 
the team felt a bit differently. I could have killed all of them. The thing was, when as soon as I started fighting Lee Sin and Garen right here, I couldn't exactly all in Lee Sin yet because my W wasn't like a half second cooldown. Like half a second. Half a second too long. That was the problem right there. So right after you get the Black Lever and Dead Stance, the next thing you want to do is get the Last Whisper because they have Garen, which is mainly going to build tank very soon. They also have Shinja, who is most likely going to get the Zanias very soon. And Lee Sin is going to build a lot of tanky items too. So you might as well already build the Last Whisper and all that stuff. And uh, finish the Guardian's Engine stuff like that later on. They're like all grouping mid lane, but it doesn't really matter too much. Doesn't matter too much. Okay, we've got that camp. Just gonna walk top side right now, push it out completely. I don't really care too much about that dragon, to be honest. I really don't care too much about it. There's Garen. Oh, Garen is no problem for us right now. I'll take these camps here too. Yep, got that one. I'll take this camp too. And we're gonna fight this guy right now. Totally out of place. Oh, okay. this guy's coming too, so. I don't know. That Lee Sin is just so far behind. I, I, I don't even know, guys. This guy, I, I think this guy's even trolling. Like, he's so far behind right now. I don't know. Lee Sin is further behind than the support. I, I really don't know what's going on right now. No idea. I can't just literally just heal back up what Syndra is doing with damage. Even she cannot do much. Let's see if she's gonna pass right here. No, she's not gonna pass right there. Alright, I'll get the next wave too. Yep. And we got that. I can soon get my black lever too. My flash is gonna come up in like 30 seconds too, so we can win like an entire team fight. Anyways, um, so in the current position which we are in, the best thing for us to do right now is to go bot lane, push up bot lane as hard as possible, and give my team the space they need in order to uh, uh, like get things going. Got the last whisper, sweet. I'll just buy like a board for myself too. So if we go bot lane right now, push it out completely, we can probably 1v2 people or even 1v5. And by split pushing bot lane, we also give the teammates the space they need in order to get things done throughout the game. Like getting the Baron, for instance, getting like the top side lane, so much more. We can easily win against three, so why would we group up with the team right now if we can literally run down bot lane and fight anyone? Create massive pressure. These guys are all fighting, it doesn't matter what they do, it really doesn't matter at all. Sweet, got that. Just farming all of it. Farming everything, guys. If your team is kind of throwing the game, for instance, right now, my team is kind of throwing the game right now since they're like all dying over and over again. The best way to prevent games from throwing it all away is just by farming as hard as possible. I don't want myself to be kicked into the tower. Oh, there we go. 
So just by farming up as much as possible, like, let the team do whatever they want. If they want to feed, that's not your problem. Just focus on farming as much as possible and stay ahead of the game. So once the team fight starts, you can you can just turn the entire game <clears throat> into like a massive win. This way you can prevent like so many loses. Like, like all, all fighting, I can just push. I don't know. That Garen never sends a single chance. It's going. Oh man, this guy is so greedy. I th I think they're giving up, guys. I th I think they're trolling right now. I think this is it. We're too far ahead already. They don't care anymore. They know it's a lost. Let's just finish right now. Ah. Sinjo's no problem. Hmm. I tried dodging it. I'm really trying to dodge everything, but I can't. I try to dodge so, like so much. Ah! What is he doing? He doesn't CC them. He doesn't do anything at all. He was just watching. Oh, I guess this runner. That's why. Anyways, uh, guys, this is pretty much how I play Riven. Also against a really hard matchup like Garen. This is something that many people have a lot of problems with. But honestly, Garen is not really that hard to play against with as Riven, guys. Honestly. Riven against Garen is pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Seriously. Anyways, um, once again, the full roots, full build. The best setup for Riven in Season 10. You can find it in the description below. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. Hopefully you guys have learned something. And with that being said, guys. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Have a nice one.